Hello, good afternoon. It's Sadil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of day's trading Tuesday, 27th of September 2016. Okay, now let's try and uh, uh, decipher exactly what happened today. It was certainly another roller coaster. Okay, so first of all, we started off with the Asian markets. Okay, Asian markets certainly finished uh, higher, certainly managed to finish up, up 0.6%. The Shanghai, the Hang Seng up 1% and the Nikkei uh, 0.8%. And then we had a dip in European markets. Why? Because uh, number one, Deutsche Bank concerns remain. Number two, uh, concerns with regards to Volkswagen as well uh, emanate or resurface. Okay, so both those uh, factors certainly played a uh, bearish or have a, had a negative bias. Okay, in the morning in terms of economic data, uh, we obviously we were we had Mr. Corolla and Mr. Draghi Dovis today before, but yet markets didn't care because focus was on the uh, Deutsche Bank concerns. Okay, in terms of uh, uh, German inflation data this morning came in on the weaker side, therefore supporting the uh, the actual uh, <clears throat> uh, what should we say the the risk trade because obviously the euro now uh, well it did actually dip below 1.12 at one time on the back of weaker German inflation data. Retail sales from Sweden certainly came in stronger than expected, although markets chose to ignore that. Okay, uh, industrial sales uh, came in stronger, but the uh, industrial orders from Italy certainly came in weaker. Okay, private loans uh, from the Eurozone were more or less in line. And then we had the weaker UK CBI data, certainly hurting the market or hurting the FTSE itself causing the FTSE to dip as low as uh, 6770 region before it actually bounced. Uh, in terms of uh, US data, Red Book Index certainly came in negative, okay, uh, on a month-to-month -month basis. S&P, K, Schiller, home prices slightly weaker, but the PMI data certainly came in stronger, okay, consumer confidence certainly stronger as well, thereby helping the uh, tech sector to a large extent shake off the weakness from Europe. And then we had the Richmond Fed Manufacturing Index as well in September, so uh, again, that coming out on the weaker side. <clears throat> Mr. Fisher's comments at the moment mixed, uh, hinting towards the dovish side. And then we have the API data later on today. Again, that's going to be important. We've had back and forth from OPEC. The latest, really, or the ongoing saga at present from OPEC is that uh, the Russians are leaving early and the Iranians are not agreeing to an all airport deal. So, therefore, the whole uh, meeting itself has failed once again. Okay. Now, in terms of... Um, Trade signal, signals or market updates from leading providers, be sure to visit w.tradesignal.com and you can certainly download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's look at the technical picture now, given the fact that the markets are closed. Let's look at the German DAX. Let's uh, observe here. So German DAX certainly closed the gap, certainly bounced from that gap fill level. 60-minute chart on the German DAX still holding to potential double bottom scenario here. Okay, so again, for now, the pivot... Is at uh, for the German DAX is at 10 to 60 zone. Okay, that's your pivot for the German DAX 10 minute chart. Let's just have a look here again. Still making lower lows, lower highs. Okay, for the German DAX, but at present the uh, resistance remains at 10,380. Okay, so 10,380 is your key level to watch out for now. The French CAC, let's bring up the daily chart first and foremost. Okay, again, we held a 200 MA. Held gap fill, certainly bounce impressively. 60-minute uh, chart holding support here at uh, 4375. Having said that, there is an unfilled gap at 4330, so market's still vulnerable to that, so be aware of that, okay? Be cognizant of that, and uh, one cannot get too, uh, too bullish at this juncture, from my understanding, okay? Given the fact that Deutsche Bank concerns still remain, okay? Now, there were comments with regards to... Um, the US, if I can just look at the uh, discussion with regards to the banks, that's the reason why we started to short squeeze higher. Okay, Justice Department's Bill Bayer says banks can lower penalties. So obviously the penalties that are being enforced upon Deutsche Bank and uh, the um, uh, Volkswagen oh, certainly potentially could be lowered. Uh, and again, that certainly is uh, triggering a potential short squeeze. Okay. Looking at the FTSE 100 now, okay, FTSE 100 daily chart, the FTSE, we certainly are into potential support here, okay, key support around this 6770 zone, okay, we certainly pushed higher on the daily chart, 60 minute chart of the FTSE 100, let's just uh, observe here, now again, we are in no man's land, okay, uh, but having said that, the uh, ideal uh, support, I mean, there is a horizontal support zone here, 
although it certainly is weak and isn't as uh, reliable uh, it certainly is uh, something given the fact that it's coming from the uh, off 25th of august and we certainly have chopped up and down since then so the market hasn't really respected that zone the next real potential support is at 6740 now given the fact that uh, we failed to get a uh, opec deal done and oil prices are now languishing back down to 43 FTSE really needs another catalyst. I mean, there's um, given the fact that uh, we need another catalyst to propel this index higher. So just bear that in mind. It really does need another catalyst to propel it higher. So for now, uh, all we can do as a trader is take the pivot highs, connect them together, and you're certainly in a potential downtrend at the moment. Okay, so again, lower lows, lower highs resume. Uh, given the fact that we are now into that 6820 zone after hours, you know, 6830 is your key resistance zone on the 60 minute chart. And therefore looking to potentially test the uh, lower zone 10 minute job slightly a different a slightly different understanding or perspective okay you have an inverted head and shoulders falling contracting wedge we've certainly broke out here okay so you are looking for a potential thrust tire pivot low is uh, 6770 uh, 6800 so you're looking at 6830 okay so 6830 has been potential key resistance so we have 6840 obviously 6850 and then obviously this is zone here at 6830 so watch out for 6830 that's your key resistance zone okay and that zone certainly is expected to hold 6830 okay folks 6830 very important certainly expected to hold okay in terms of the footsie and looking for a potential short opportunity now you have closed at 6800 so therefore you are looking for gap fill below if we do gap higher so bear that in mind okay now last but not least euro stocks okay euro stocks let's just quickly bring up euro stocks for you now we do have an unfilled gap left behind at uh, 2935 given the deutsche bank concerns etc uh, etc et uh, one needs to remain open-minded and uh, that gap certainly can be closed okay uh, daily chart is showing you a slightly different perspective given the fact that you have this key diagonal trend line okay 60 minute chart again you are holding this key support zone here at 2950 and looking to potentially thrust higher but we are still making lower lows lower highs previous support equals resistance at 2975 so don't get too bullish yet okay 10 minute chart on the euro stocks at the moment yes we have bounced off that pivot low one of the reasons why i actually went long i uh, the markets were very close to closing that gap at 2935 but with the dip in the euro back down to the 1.12 it certainly provided that uh, stimulus <clears throat> trade with a weaker euro and uh, that certainly did ignite the uh, potential rally in the euro stock so again looking at uh, resistance here at 2970 and then obviously 2975 then 2985 as well 2995 is your key resistance and again like i said onus is on uh, weaker european equities okay so again, it's going to be interesting to see if that gap at 2935 can close on the euro stocks and the German DAX continues to move lower. In terms of oil, as you can see here, certainly getting flushed. Oil certainly getting hurt today, especially with the, given the fact that the, the Russians are basically uh, en route and have left and are not really interested in any potential deal. So again, uh, well, not, not interested. It, there's, there's nothing on the table as of yet. Okay, so again, Saudis and the Iranians bickering and uh, certainly coming to no conclusion at all okay so that certainly isn't good news all right okay so potential support is seen here at uh, 44.2 if that fails and you are going to go even lower you're going back down to 43.3 okay in terms of oil copper let's just quickly bring up copper copper has been weak all day now we have had the uh, imf downgrade downgrade global growth okay so again that's a concern mr fisher at the moment his comments certainly mixed no real over uh, understanding from him in terms of whether the market is uh, the market certainly haven't reacted to his comments okay and uh, all he stated is that you don't want to hike too fast too soon so again or not hike too much okay or too many rates so again really it's um, it's a mixed message from him so not you, we can't really take anything from him in terms of a trade idea for now uh, the onus will be back on the uh, FTSE so again keep an eye on the FTSE here resistance is seen at 6830 6840 6850 and obviously euro stocks resistance at 2982 2995 so again you are looking at potential uh, resistance lower the nasdaq as well is coming into gap fill resistance so again an argument here for the markets to move lower okay on that note be sure to uh, visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the uh, bonus goodbye